today. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Tennessee Titans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Being located in the Music City, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football, and that's what we have today in Villa Nissan Stadium. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his first look is incomplete. Trying to get it there to D.D. Westbrook. And now it's second down. And Charles, we take a peek there at their recent draft class. And this definitely a year where they had a chance to greatly improve this team. And you've got to take advantage when you have this type of an opportunity. Two first-round picks. You better scout them well and hit on those selections. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run on the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And I'll tell you what, what a bird's eye view I've got here because that was absolutely something else to watch. Not a lot of wiggle in that. That was catch it and go. And he used those wheels of his to absolute devastating effect. Flush to his right. The open man is Westbrook. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. A gain of six there on first. On second down now. It's Thompson. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get struck out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Fourth down now the Titans defense holds up in coverage. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. The kick by Lambeau is good. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. Titans nothing. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He's tackled at the You see Thompson's numbers from a week ago. 21 carries, 101 yards, and a score. Well, they set a nice tone in week one. He's among the leading rushers in the league. I think that they continue to feed him the football and continue to establish the running game so they can get touchdown, Jaguars. DJ Chark, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. First play of the drive is a run with Thompson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got it complete to Thompson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up the first down. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. 
the 39 yards. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally brought down at the 43. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Good catch there by Tyler Eifert in Jacksonville, who needed help at the tight end position, signed him to do exactly that. Spent his first seven years in Cincinnati, a terrific red zone threat. D.D. Westbrook, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Rolling to his right. And he completes it to Westbrook. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. They'll look to throw again, escaping the pressure right. James O'Shaughnessy there to make the grab. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Oh, you got to do better than that. Showed some of his improv skills there, getting flushed out of the pocket, but still able to. So back to live action. Let's see what this offense can do here on this play. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. They'll buy some time right. And that is incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? And they work this well upfield across the 45. Man, I've seen that play. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to say. On first down, he'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. This one complete to the tight end, O'Shaughnessy. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll roll him out right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Sliding out of the pocket. He'll get this over to Westbrook. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 17-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll look to throw now on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point. We now proceed to the start of the second half. Seven, Josh Lambeau to kick off for Jacksonville. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. Now it's Adam Humphreys on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Titans take over first and 10. It'll be a first and 10 coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. They'll run on first down. Thompson. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's able to out-muscle him here as he pulls it in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 
It's a gain of 34. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And now running right through him. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They go with Thompson again. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Second down and three with right around three minutes remaining in the third quarter. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Third quarter action, and this offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. A pass there, complete to Westbrook. And he's got this down to the 35. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. 16 yards. Well, when the Jaguars want to throw the football, often look to D.D. Westbrook, who just completed that play there. 101 targets, 66 catches for both 2018. Touchdown, Jaguars! D.J. Shark, his second touchdown of the game. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. He did it again. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one right there. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.D. Westbrook, his second time. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. Again, a run with Thompson. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call first and 10. So finally, at this stage of the game, he lets his legs carry him for a big-time first down. But I think this is all set up by his eyes throughout the game. He's been taking it all in as he's watched this thing unfold. And finally, the eyes carried the legs and took him downfield. You're right. His longest run of the game waited until the fourth quarter, and maybe that lulled the defense to sleep a little bit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. But I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0. That sideline, isn't it? So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. A gain of 12. 
First down, Jacksonville. On first down, Thompson. And some space here. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land yap, a little extra on top. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive court... Start your week by installing your game plan. Tonight, from T. Now the rain is falling. How will that affect the passing game? We're about to find out here. This is the first drive of the contest. Well, here's a good way to kick off the drive. Complete over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two. He's not locking in on just one target early, is he? Spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started. Back-to-back -back first downs. Oh, man, open down the middle of the field. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That 
That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. It's first and 10 at the 14. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. No gain, and it's second down. Well, six-round picks, they don't normally step in and start on day one, that's for sure. But over the years, we've had some big names from that spot. And they will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Chris Thompson. Time to take you back into the ball game. It's a red zone alert as this defense faces a first and ten in the final minute of the opening quarter. On first down, they run with Howard. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Nothing's nothing. This is Howard on second down. And work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. So a we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Jacksonville's pass defense holds serve. Fourth down. Sanders' kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Dolphin three. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On third down, Fitzpatrick. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Time for this defense to try and stiffen as they'll try here to defend a first and ten situation at their own 17 yard line. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're up against a third and one situation. Now Fitzpatrick hit. It's out. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had another teammate who was able to get it. The kick by Sanders is good. And they'll get it back with it a point at seven. So time becoming an issue here late in this first half of action as we get back down to the field. Now a throw right side, take it in here to start this drive. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So time growing short here in this first half as they try to get some momentum heading into the lockers. Rolling to his right. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Flushed out right. Looking for Chunk again. This time he's got it. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 26. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. 26 yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately, and throws a nice pass for a first down. 
Jerome Baker right there in coverage. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he will his way into the end zone for a touchdown. It's their quarterback scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. So here we go, back to the action. Football in the red zone. And a big third down play coming up for this defense. Sanders' kick is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. Jaguars 14, Dolphins 9. A red zone alert as we get you back into the action. This offense coming up on a second down and three to go. Flush to his right. That is caught inside the five. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. They frustrated these receivers tonight. Really held down the passing game, but there got the penalty. Fine line between aggressive, good coverage, and interference. And they crossed it on that play. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. DJ Chark, first time pro bowler, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. This is Armstead on the carry. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. That's their quarterback. His third touchdown of the game, number 11 on the year. And the Jags take it. They've made their way into the red zone now. They've got it a couple yards inside the 20 at the 18, first and 10. And it's caught. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Keely Cole. No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on four. Situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on four. And they go for it on third, but this one is going to wind up in good play. It's a third down situation in the fourth. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And a throw there going to be incomplete. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have had. In elements like this. So on fourth down, Jags kicker Josh Lambeau comes on from the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that will make this now a 15 point advantage. one's not over yet. A big play coming up on the onside kick with a kicking team trailing by eight. They need to get it back. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. A fourth quarter. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because... Both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for Jacksonville, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And now they'll have a few...
Start your week by installing your game plan.